How do you keep from falling into a rabbit hole? Rabbit! Paris in Vestal, New York is asking that very question and he says, I don't know if I'd consider myself an audiophile or not, but due in large part to the info you put out, I've been listening to my stereo much more than in the past several years. You know, when I saw that Paris, I thought, wow, that really made my day. The fact that I can stand here and babble on about stuff and that had the effect of getting you back into music. I don't care if you're an audiophile or not. The fact that you're back into music is awesome. That's just great. Good for you. Thank you. That, that really made my day. I think that is really cool. Anyway, um, Paris writes, my systems are basic, especially when compared to the gear that PS Audio has. Um, oh, did we... Basic compared to what the gear PS Audio has. Oh, okay. Uh, so, <laughs> sorry, it's getting a little uh, a little discombobulated here. Um, how do you know when your equipment is good enough? How do you know when to stop with the improvements and and the uh, the path of upgrading uh, and 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 down that rabbit hole that we all tend to get to and I think it's a great question because there are those of us who are on a lifetime journey. I, I am one of them. I, I readily admit it. I, I, I've been traveling down that rabbit hole in free fall for 40 something years um, to the point where I actually make my living doing it, right? So, you know, let, let's put me aside. I also know people out there who are on a quest to get the sound to a certain point to where when they turn it on, the majority of music that they like to listen to just reaches into their soul and brings them joy. And there isn't this, ah, oh, God, listen to that, that's too bright, or I have ear fatigue, you know. And I think a lot of people are like that. If you can get to that point, where you are just smiling every time you put the stereo on and it does its job of, of you know, I don't want the boob tube, I want to sit back and I want to crank some tunes up and read a book or uh, putter around the house or enjoy myself or actually get into the music. Um, if it can achieve that and you've gotten to that point, you've added the, the appropriate equipment, you've got the speaker set up right, you've done the setup, You've done what you needed to do to get it to that point. Stop. You don't need to go any farther, right? You really don't. And the only reason that you go farther is if technology has changed or there's some, something you're missing. But I think that it's um, counterproductive to always be on the lookout for the latest, greatest thing unless you're on the other extreme, all right? So we start with people who could care less, and then we go to people who want to have music at a certain level of enjoyment, because like food or anything else, they know something better exists. Now you might be happy with a, one of our stellar systems, or even a Sprout. Uh, you know, a great setup, Sprout, a pair of speakers, wonderful, beautiful. Step up to that. Get a stellar system, if you're going our direction. If you're not, well, you know, uh, there's plenty of other ways to go that can provide a ton of enjoyment and happiness and musical pleasure. And again, the criteria. Do you smile? Does it, does it make you feel good to hear that system? Are you proud of it? Then you're done. But a lot of us consider this to be a lifelong journey. And... I get that because I am that person. I always want better. When I listen to something, I let the music reach deep down into my soul and it communicates with me and I love it. But I always think maybe it could be a little better. Maybe I could dig deeper. Maybe I could hear more into the recording. And. I don't know what that is, but it's always there for me. I, I get satisfied, then I want better. 
So I think it's just a matter of figuring out who you are and what you want out of this. If what you want is to reach a certain level, there are plenty of people, us, I mean, if you want, we can help you get there, then you're done. That's great. And you shouldn't feel badly about not going after the next, jumping down the next rabbit hole at all. And I think that covers the majority of people. So if it's putting a smile on your face, that's great. If not, you need to decide what you want out of it. And if you decide that you just enjoy keeping up with the hobby, if you just enjoy getting to the next level and realizing there, is, there are no ends to those levels, like where I'm at, then you just need to be comfortable with that. And that's okay too. It's all good. Just figure out where you want to be and then you can get there. And we can help you. Any number of people can help you get there. Okay, hope that answered your question. And thank you for it. It was a great question. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.